Yeah. Get high, rapper. The man hour. You already know. It's live. It's raw. It's going down. Like this. I'm going around and letting everybody know that they welcome to the show. Yep. It's the littest thing you've ever seen. You already know. Yep. Let me introduce you to your host of the hour. Hit me, Mike and Mike. Mike and Mike. Yeah, it's the man hour. Yep. Got the hottest plays, uh, all the breaking news. Yeah. Every rumor, every trade, every breaking bruise. Mm-hmm. Tighten up the screws. Yeah, it's going down. Heavy saying, what the fuck? Huh? It never watered down. Woo! It's going down. I'll be rolling up. Yep. And you can buy it or you sell it, then you made the cut. Watch you flip it back. I can double up. I got some ratchet for that ass, I'm going to burn it up. Got to check the rules and know that it be fair and foul. Rap, blow the whistle, coach, throw the towel. We can do this on the field, or outside the lines. It's the man now we know, now we going live. And what is up, guys? Michael Buckhazer here with the Mike and Mike man hour before we get too far carried in way to the show tonight we have to get you guys know about the hundred dollar amazon gift card we're giving away right now all you gotta do is subscribe or like our facebook page share this live feed and join one of our tash talk groups and uh you get entered to that hundred dollar amazon gift card you like to pay that's one entry you share this live feed right now that's 10 entries you become a top fan that's another 10 entries as well there is not a limit of how many entries you can get on this page whatsoever so guys welcome 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 definitely let's get some likes out in there diana love thank you for the like john jansen thank you for the like as well ellis ingus thank you for the like my man Oh man, we, we the likes are rolling in, guys. Definitely are appreciated. David Helton, thank you for the like as well. But on today's show, we are going at Mike LeBlanc is finally back. He's finally not under the weather or fishing for penguins or whatever he was doing. He is feeling better. He'll be here with us momentarily. But on today's show, man, what is going on in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital? Man, some stuff is going down. Talk about boats and hoes like oh, over there. They're definitely doing something over there so we'll talk about that in the second segment on the last segment of the show we are going to basically talk super bowl champions thank you steve Deer, for the like my man appreciate it and we're going to talk cam newton Dak prescott and tom brady as well but speaking of the man of the hour there he is the myth the legend the man for the brother from another mother mike leblanc mike What's what is up on, my brother uh, what's going on brother you're on mute mike come on man uh, there, no, there, there you go. There you go. We got you. I'm not on mute. I had you on mute. My, my bad. My bad. My. Bad. How have you been? Matter, matter of fact, how are you feeling now? Feeling better, man. I, I don't know what the fuck I ate, but man, I've been down for the count for the past two days. Well, and I am glad you are back because I, I like you know when we had the weekends off, like I feel lost with like with my hands. Dude, I I was like, I was rubbing things that I didn't even know I had anymore. Were you thinking about me while you were rubbing them? Yeah, yeah. And then I noticed that you got a haircut, so you're starting to look like me now. And, man, shit. I just got tired of the long hair, man. Like, it's hot in Texas. Right. So How it's just hot like, is it there, there today? Uh, It was 104 here today. Here, it was like 93, 94, but our humidity has been really high as of late. I mean, of course, Texas always has a high-ass hum- like humidity. It's like 104, and the real feel was like 107. I mean, like, I was in Phoenix, Arizona, and like March time, it, like, it was like 110 degrees, one, like at like at like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, but they're all like, it's, it, is, it, is the, it is the dry heat. It's the dry heat, motherfucker. It is still hot as balls at 110 degrees. Anything over 100 is stupid, right? So my, when I was in the desert, bro, you want to talk about some dry heat? Yeah, and you're in full battle <laughs> rattle, right? Yeah, yeah, and you're sitting in them fucking Humvees that have no fucking AC. Is it like um? So like the movie Jarhead. I mean, like I, I mean, like I know it's probably not that real life, but do they like force you to drink water, like when you're there? You're saying yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, so, you, you drink water the whole fucking time. You got to stay hydrated out there, man. Right. I mean, like, do you have to, like, force yourself to, like, drink or, you know, do you get kind of used to it? No, you just kind of get used to it. And then after you get out, you're just like, 
I'm going to drink some Dr. Pepper and some beer. Fuck water. <laughs> right. What is up, Jameson? We see you in the chat, man. Welcome back to the show, Jameson. Guys, we're still giving away that $100 Amazon gift card. Be sure to share this live feed right now. You get 10 more entries into the page. Uh, Jameson says, Mike, it is good to, good to know that you're doing better. Definitely. Jameson, I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, Jameson is a good guy. Good looking out. Uh, so we are going to do some uh, new segment tonight called the Rumor Mill. And this was rumors last night, like, obviously, but tonight is starting to be a lot more clear of what is going on in Washington. So, guys, we're going to take a quick little break here. But before I let you guys go, we have to let you know, check out popculture.com. Popculture.com is where you can find really all of the breaking news stuff that is happening in the pop, pop culture world. If you don't know, know what pop culture is, I think Britney Spears and – you know, Tom Brady, or how about this? Aaron Rodgers and Danica Kirkpatrick are breaking up. So <gasps> my Whoa. girl is Whoa. finally single again, and man, I, might, I might have to slide in there and pick her up, right? You're going to slide into her DMs? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been doing it since 2018, so why not now? You know, if <laughs> I don't see you tomorrow, I know Cindy like, fucking when you're there. killed you. You're saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you <laughs> It's all good, though. Man, well, we're, we're going to take a quick little break, guys. And on the flip side of the break, we are going to talk a little bit of Washington Redskins or Washington Red Tails or Red Hawks or Red Feet, Orange Men, the Washington, D.C. team. We'll be right back. guys welcome back to the mike and mike man hour as you guys know by now we are giving away that 100 dollars amazon gift card as soon as our page hit that 500 like mark and every 500 mike past that point we are getting very very close the last check i think was right about 460 so we are right there getting i would say probably by the end of the week we're, we're, we're getting ready to give away that gift card so pretty Ooh. excited about that pretty excited about that who's gonna get it Who's going to get it? If you guys share the live feed right now, you get 10 more chances to win that gift card. Man, Mike, last night we had 15 shares on the like on the show. So let's go ahead and try to top that tonight, guys. More than 15. But last night, Jameson texted me. I don't know. what Jameson, what what time did you, did, did, did you text me? 10, 11 o'clock at night? Man, I was – no, it was like 11 or 12 o'clock at night. But, of course, he's in like central time zone, so like 5 o'clock in the morning there. But whatever. He he basically told me that there's some shit going down in Washington D.C. And when I first read, I'm like, there is no freaking way that this is true, right? But now time has settled, and Action Jackson News was right there on top of it with the rumors. So we we're going to bring in a segment called uh, Rumor Mill, starting here next week with a nice little jingle and whatnot. But according to two sources close within the D.C. Me media, there is, there's going to be an alleged an, an alleged bombshell involving the Washington Redskins, which will contain the following key points here. Daniel Snyder, the owner of the Washington Redskins, has abused drugs and alcohol, and that is lead into the Redskins' workplace culture, meaning making it a hard place to work and whatnot. Daniel Snyder also has paid NFL officials to fix the games. Some referees have made over $2 million from Snyder in the last couple of seasons. Not only uh, the owner... To pay the NFL, like he has, like I don't, I'm not for sure what that means, but it says that he also not the only owner to pay NFL. Oh, so he is not the only owner to pay NFL officials to fix games, which is kind of weird. Uh, and then also Snyder, which is their coach. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Snyder is the owner and former head coach Jay Gruden pimped out their cheerleaders to season ticket holders while holding their passports for them for in a foreign country. Wow. So. Also, to add to this mix as well, uh, running Redskins running back at the time, Cabby Bribbs, was also sleeping with the same girl that Jay Gruden was, and Jay Gruden got 
jealous and bench bibs in a NFL game, the same game that Alex Smith had his career ending leg injury, which you guys know he broke his leg and that, whatnot. That all sounds really, really messy. Right. So, Mike, first things first, man, what are your thoughts on that shit? I mean, so you got you got the whole thing surrounding them about the name change and everything, and now you got this coming out. And, you know, I've even heard that um, Snyder was going to party with Epstein on his little private island. So, man, it, I, I think the NFL is going to be for uh, going to make Snyder like he's going to be forced to sell the team. Yeah, uh, I mean, to be honest, everything is starting to make sense since now. Uh, when like so, when we heard this um, about the whole name change thing, rumors started to come out saying that uh, Daniel Snyder was already talks in the NFL saying, "Hey, we are going to change our name anyways." So basically, it, basically he was trying to save front, like I think, like he was trying to get in there to smooth shit over. Before shit really hit the fan, like let's be totally honest, that's why he was like he was in there, right, to save face and be like, hey, shit's shit's going down, so let me go in there and uh, smack the commissioner on the ass, and say, hey, like I love you, right? Let me help you out. So, but the one thing that really stood out to me, actually, the two things that stood out to me was that Daniel Snyder paid off NFL refs to fix the games, and he is not the only owner to do so. The bad thing is Washington Redskins still fucking suck. Like yeah, the, the, they, the they were still losing all the like all like all all of these games, it, and he was paying the refs to fix the games. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you wasted your money there, Snyder. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, first of all, it is hard to fix a a basketball game, let alone a football game, because there that there's that there are so many intangibles that are happening. Really, the the I think the only way you could fix a football game is that if you were to throw a holding flag on every scoring play for the opposing team. I mean, technically, yes, there there can be holding on every NFL play, but then to throw the flag like that much, I mean, that, that is that is freaking crazy to me. I mean, I mean, look at Tom Brady. Are you referring to the deflated balls or? He just barely didn't even touch his face mask. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is a little re- 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 ridiculous. But the next thought in my process is that there are other NFL owners that have done the same. So this is coming from the DC media. So are we talking the Patriots? Are we talking the Eagles? Like, like what team do you think could it possibly be? The um, Patriots. I mean, that's the one thing I could think of, right? I mean, they've been caught for cheating so many times it would just follow suit there. And then the last thing, like the last thing that comes to mind mind here is that Jay Gruden benched his running back Bibbs, and uh, it was the same game that Alex Smith broke his leg and basically he almost died. I mean, what happens like if Alex Smith died? Is it, is it Gruden's fault that Alex Smith broke his leg then at that point? Well, so – what this uh, uh, tweet is insinuating is that Bibbs would have picked up the block that broke Alex Smith's leg. But since he wasn't in there, his backup was in there. That's why he ultimately broke his leg. I don't Welcome know. to the TED Talk. What's that? Welcome to the TED Talk. Welcome to the TED Talk. And uh, so, yeah, uh, and then this uh, last part of it did just come into my phone. It says that Snyder... Was held was holding was holding sex sex parties with rampant duck with rampant drug use. Uh, these are all pending FBI investigations. So you I, said he's going to be forced to sell bad. the team. He's going to be FBI. Like that's 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 bad. Yeah, it, it's just it is absolutely terrible, absolutely asinine, and it, it is it is all crazy in the end. But the biggest thing is fixing the NFL games. I mean, does your team suck that bad that you have to fix the NFL games and you still lose it, lose those games? Like I, like I wonder what NFL games were like fixed. I, I kind of hope this this comes out. I, yeah, I want to know too because I mean the the Redskins have like lost a lot. You know what I mean? Like, right. And 
And then what happens to those referees? Do you because uh, do you remember the NBA ref that got caught for uh, uh, betting on the games that he was like <clears throat> being officiating at? Like he, yeah. he went to federal jail. So I mean, do these refs go to federal jail too, or do they kind of just like, hey, you know what? You weren't betting on the games. You're just kind of fixing them. You were cheating. You're never going to ref in the NFL again. Like is like is that is, is that how that works? I I would hope so. I mean, shit. Like I don't know. I mean, it is crazy to me to even think about. Guys, I do know we're having some technical difficulties on the Facebook side. It is on the Facebook side. It is not on 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 our side, just to let you guys know. But uh, we are going to replay this episode tonight, too, so there's no interruptions or whatnot. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure, because I've been like trying to watch it on my phone, yeah. and I've been trying to watch it on my laptop to keep up with the comments. And it's like I get on, and it's just nothing. It's just frozen. Yeah, uh, it, 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 I actually was jumping on Twitter while I was reading that. And just and I guess Facebook is is acting up. So, it, sorry guys. That is that is always kind of funny when people go to, to to Twitter to see if Facebook is messed up or Instagram to see if Facebook's messed up. But 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 yeah, it is on Facebook side. I am re- recording this, so we we should be good to go. So we will you know air it in entirety. Um, Everybody missed my beautiful face. <laughs> you you aren't that beautiful now that now that you have short short hair. No, I, uh, I did. My hair's short. <laughs> I just got tired of the long hair, man. It's fucking hot in Texas. Right. All right, guys. So we do have the phone lines open tonight. If you want to interact with us on the phone call, it is 502-208-9266. Once again, that is 502-208-9266. Feel free to jump into the calls here anytime you anytime you wish. My bad. I didn't mean to blast the music in you guys' ears. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Mike, I was going to say something else, but I totally forgot. No, I want someone to call in. Call in and talk to me, damn it. <laughs> Shit's going down, so let me go in there and uh, smack the commissioner on the ass and say, hey, I, I love you, right? Let me help you out. So, but the one thing that really stood out to me, actually the two things that stood out to me, was that Daniel Snyder paid off NFL refs to fix the games, and he is not the only owner to do so. The bad thing is Washington Redskins still fucking suck. Like, yeah, the, the, the they, they were still losing all the like all like all all of these games, it, and he was paying the refs to fix the games. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you wasted your money there, Snyder. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, first of all, it is hard to fix a a basketball game, let alone a football game, because there that there's that there are so many intangibles that are happening. Really, the the I think the only way you could fix a football game is that if you were to throw a holding flag on every scoring play for the opposing team. I mean, technically, yes, there, there can be holding on every NFL play, but then to throw the flag like that much, I mean, that, that is, that is freaking crazy. To me. I mean, I mean, look at Tom Brady. Are you referring to the deflated balls or he just barely didn't even touch his face mask. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is a little re- 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 ridiculous. But the next thought in my process is that there are other NFL owners that have done the same. So this is coming from the DC media. So are we talking the Patriots? Are we talking the Eagles? Like, like what team do you think could it possibly be? The um, Patriots. I mean, that's the one thing I could think of, right? I mean, they've been caught for cheating so many times it would just follow suit there. And then the last thing, like the last thing that comes to mind mind here is that Jay Gruden benched his running back, Bibbs, and uh, it was the same game that Alex Smith broke his leg and basically he almost died. I mean, what happens, like, if Alex Smith died? Is it Gruden's fault that Alex Smith broke his leg then at that point? Well, so... What this uh, uh, tweet is insinuating is that Bibbs would have picked up the block that broke Alex Smith's leg. But since he wasn't in there, his backup was in there. That's why he ultimately broke his leg. I don't Welcome know. to the TED Talk. What's that? Welcome to the TED Talk. Welcome to the TED Talk. And uh, so, yeah, uh, and then this uh, last part of it did just come into my phone. It says that Snyder... Was held was holding was holding sex sex parties with rampant duck with rampant drug use. Uh, these are all pending FBI investigations. So you I, said I, he's going to be forced to sell the team. He's going to be FBI. 
Like that's 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 bad. Yeah, it, it's just it is absolutely terrible, absolutely asinine, and it, it is it is all crazy in the end. But the big thing is fixing the NFL games. I mean, does your team suck that bad that you have to fix the NFL games and you still lose it, lose those games? Like I like I, I wonder what NFL games were like fixed. I I kind of hope this this comes out. I, yeah, I want to know too because I mean the the Redskins have like lost a lot. You know what I mean? Like, right. And and then what happens to those referees? Do you because uh do you remember the NBA ref that got caught for uh, uh betting on the games that he was like being officiating at? Like he, yeah, he went to federal jail. So I mean, do these refs go to federal jail too, or do they kind of just like hey, you know what? You weren't betting on the games. You're just kind of fixing them. You were cheating. You're never going to ref in the NFL again. Like, is like, is that is, is that how that works? I I would hope so. I mean, shit. I, I I don't know. I mean, it is crazy to me to even think about, guys. I do know we're having some technical difficulties on the Facebook side. It is on the Facebook side. It is not on 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 our side. Just to let you guys know. But uh, we are going to replay this episode tonight to so there's no interruptions or whatnot. So I, I just wanted to make sure because I've been like trying to watch it on my phone yeah. and I've been trying to watch it on my laptop to keep up with the comments. And it's like I get on and it's just nothing. It's just frozen. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 I actually was jumping on Twitter while I was reading that and just, and I guess Facebook is, is acting up. So it, sorry, guys. that is, that is always kind of funny when people go to, to, to Twitter to see if Facebook is messed up or Instagram to see if Facebook's messed up. But, but, but yeah, it is on Facebook side. I am re- recording this. So we, we should be good to go. So we will, you know, air it in entirety. Um, Everybody miss my beautiful face. <laughs> you you aren't that beautiful now that now that you have short short hair. No, I, uh, I did I hair short. <laughs> I just got tired of the long hair, man. It's fucking hot in Texas. Right. All right, guys. So we do have the phone lines open tonight. If you want to interact with us on the phone call, it is five zero two two zero eight nine two six six. Once again, that is five zero two two zero eight nine two six six. Feel free to jump into the calls here anytime you Never. anytime you wish. My bad. I didn't mean to blast the music in you guys' ears. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Mike, I was going to say something else, but I totally forgot. Well, I want someone to call in. Call in and talk to me, damn it. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to take a quick little break. Hopefully these issues uh, on the side of Facebook get cleared up during our break. I'm going to tweak with some stuff, see see, see if I can't help it like a uh, lock as well. But on the other side of the break, we're going to talk a little bit of Cam Newton, Dak Prescott, and, of course, Miles Garrett with that big mega deal as well. So, guys, we'll be right back after this break. Hopefully, shit gets figured out on Facebook side. We'll be back. Guys, welcome back to the Mike and Mike Man Hour. I am Michael Buckhouse with Michael Ball. Guys, we are experiencing technical difficulties on the Facebook side, linking from our stuff to the face Facebook. But we are recording this episode as always. So if you guys want to catch the episode in entirety, be sure to turn into rtfsportsnetwork.com. Noon edition, East Coast time at rtfsportsnetwork.com. Also, you can find us on Spotify, iTunes, and iHeartRadio as well. And also on YouTube and Twitch. So all those will be over there. So like I said, before the break, the phone lines are open. 502-208-9266. If you're able to hear us on that, feel free to go ahead and get, and get an evidence call. I do have the phone right here handy. So, Mike, before we went to break and before we came on air, we were talking about some mega deals that have happened and what have not happened within the NFL over these last couple of days. Yeah. One of the big deals was Miles Garrett signed a five-year Hundred twenty-five million dollar contract, huge deal, huge, huge deal. deal, huge deal for the Browns. 
what what a yes, it is a mega deal. But let's be honest, Miles Garrett is a mega player. Miles Garrett is by far one top five defensive ends in the league. He right. is one of the best edge edge rushers in the league right now. So for them to be able to lock him up for I think the deal was what for four or no for five, five years. years. Yep. Five years. So for them to be able to lock him up for five years, um, it, it's it's really good for the Browns. This is this is really a win. Um, I, I I'm curious to see how it's going to play out because Baker's coming up for a contract extension. Am I am I wrong? Uh, uh, I believe. Yeah, he I, he should be. I mean, he this is his that, fourth this year should, in the league, right? Third year, yeah. He's coming up, and then um, I know, you know, you got Jarvis Landry. Right. You've got. I, Odell Beckham Jr. He should be locked up for like a for like a little while. I feel like he he he, he got a pretty good deal when he went from the Giants got, to the, to the Browns. Got Nick Chubb too, right? And, and Nick Chubb was ranked NFL ranked him the top five running backs in the league. Okay. So, you know, you you got Nick Chubb that's that's going to have a payday. Right. Jarvis Landry who's going to have a payday, and Baker Mayfield is going to have a payday. So pause. Um, we're, we're, Running backs are a dime a dozen, and I think Nick Chubb is very replaceable for the for the. Uh, Nick Chubb is not replaceable. Damn you, Buck! Here you go with that bullshit again. Okay, I mean, Chubb. he he might be a top five running back in the league. Okay, awesome. But he's but, one of those talents like Zeke, Saquon Barkley. No, no, do not put them in the same conversation. Do do not do that. What has do, Nick Chubb done done for you Chubb. lately? Nick Chubb behind that Cowboys line, and you're telling me but he he's not, is he? No, no, but he still produces behind that line. Uh, what do you call produces? Seven hundred yards? He rushed for more than seven hundred. He rushed for over a thousand yards last season. Uh, I, I, I just don't think that Chubb is that is that it factor that that hey we have to go sign Nick Chubb for a long for a, a long term deal for the Cleveland Browns. I, 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 I just don't think that that is the case because you know. Running back shelf life is about four to five years, and what Nick Chubb is entering into his fourth year, so we'll really see how he does this 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 this, this year. So moving back to Miles G- G- Garrett, when I first saw that deal, I'm like, what the fuck is the Browns th- th- thinking? This guy is is a head case. He reminds me of like Sue, you know, like you never know when he's gonna fly off the handles or like any means. But but then I but then I went back and I watched some tape. I believe it was the Browns versus the Ravens game. Uh, Miles Garrett only had two tackles that whole game. But watch the de- or watch, watch their defensive plays versus Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. They were running away from him. He was literally shutting down half of the field because just because of his presence. He he shut down half the field. Every play went to the right, right. And his two tackles that he did get, he chased Lamar Jackson down from the left hash over to the right hash in about. 10, 15 yards, yards, yards deep. That is a 40 to 50 yard, you know, sprint for a defensive tackle. I think he's like 300 some, some, some pounds. He's a big, he's a big, big boy. But people keep referring to, oh, he, he, he smashed racing uh, Mason Rudolph in like the helmet. Oh, oh, awesome. We all make, we all make mistakes. Like, I mean, you shouldn't have called them the N word. That's, that's, that is a legend. Do you really think that? You know the one white guy on the I, say, I oh, I you did it. I I don't see. He's never done that before, and he's been in some heated arguments on the field, and he's never done that before. Like you've got to say something along those lines to make that man do that. Okay, so let me let me replay that fight in my head. Marquise Pouncey was around him. There was another lineman that was also black. Uh, Miles Garrett was there, which was black. A nether defensive lineman there was black, and then you had one white guy. So you're telling me, out of the six guys, four of them were black. One of them was Miles Garrett, and another one was Mason Rudolph, which which was a white guy. Are you telling me those four other black guys weren't saying the n word? Yeah, but it's different when a black guy says the n word. But, but, but I'm saying, how can you distinguish Mason Rudolph's 